Hey guys, come on downstairs. Let's play a little Oregon State Beavers baseball. This is episode number five of our Oregon State Dynasty. We got a couple of games here against the Cal Poly Mustangs from Corvallis that we're going to quick manage, and then we'll go ahead and play that first game of this Stanford series. It is a big one from Palo Alto. Stanford, the top team in the Pac-10 right now. And we'll have three games against them. We'll play the first one. We'll quick manage the last two. Take a look at the Pac-10 standings. We're tied with the USC Trojans at 9-6 and six. in the conference. We're 21-26 and 26 overall. Stanford is 10-5 and five in the conference. Cal Poly in the Big West is 8-11. and 11. They're 21-26 and 26 overall. Same overall record as us. Cal State, Fullerton, and Long Beach are tied atop the Big West, the traditional powers in that conference. The first game here, the Mustangs and the Beavers. We're going to quick manage, manage it. It's going to go through pretty quickly. And uh, we win that one 15-7 going away. Rene Rogers, 2 of 6 on the day with an RBI. Jeff Maloney, 2 of 4 with an RBI. Uh, Nick Swayden, 1 for 4, also with an RBI. Washburn goes 3 for 5, drives in 2. Banwert was 4 for 5. No RBIs, but he scored 3 runs. Shinjo, 2 for 4. Uh, Ari Riesland had 2 doubles. Nick Swayden with a double. Washburn. RBIs, a couple for Shinjo, Bigby, Riesland had a couple, Maloney, Swayden, Rogers, Tomko had two, and Washburn had two. Bigby and Tomko with sacrifices. On the mound for us today, Morgan went five and a third, gave up 12 hits and six runs. He did manage to get the victory, though, even though he gave up a number of runs, the offense carried him. And... Uh, Fossum has recovered from his injury, so we're going to go ahead and insert him back into the rotation. As you uh, remember, he missed that last start that we did, his last start against Marshall, where we lost on the road to Marshall. So after quick managing the second game of this Cal Poly series, we win it 13-3. Swayden only went one for six. Maloney was three for four, scored four runs. Renee Rogers, four of five, with six RBIs. Tomko, two for five with a pair of RBIs. Riesland, one for three. Backup catcher Norris went one for four. Markle went one for four. Bigby, 0 for two. Maloney and Rogers had doubles. Rogers had his second triple of the year. He also hit his ninth home run. Tomko had his third home run. Fellows, Maloney, and Swayden all RBI'd as well for the Beavers. And Harville went seven innings, gave up nine hits and three runs. All three were earned. A pair of walks and six strikeouts. In the 13-3 victory over the Mustangs, that puts us at 23-26 and 26 overall. Doesn't affect our conference record. As we head into this series with Stanford from Palo Alto, California, we come in a game behind the Cardinal, who are 10-5. and five. Other games this weekend, or series this weekend, uh, USC is at Arizona, Arizona State at UCLA, and Washington is at Washington State, while we take on Stanford. So the first game of this series pits Fossum making his return from injury for the Beavers. He will start for us as we get things underway from the campus of Stanford University. Jeff Huffman is the starter for Stanford. He's 5-5 five and five with a 3.54 ERA in 84 innings. He's given up 87 hits on the season. And Nick Swayden is going to step in to get things started off against the lefty. He takes the first pitch on the outside corner for strike number one. The curveball also catches the plate. It's an 0-2 count to Swayden from Huffman. Here's the delivery, and Swayden swings under the circle change for out number one here in the top of the first. Splitter taken there for strike one from Jeff Maloney. And Maloney... Flies it out to shallow right field, but the second baseman is on it. You can see our lineup. Swayden, Maloney, and Rogers. Washburn, Washburn batting cleanup. Banwert, Shinjo, Tomko, Riesland, and Bigby. Here is Rene Rogers. He takes the splitter over the plate for strike one. Change up, up and in. Evens the count at one apiece. Here's the delivery from Huffman on the 1-1. One -one. The splitter taken for strike two. And then a check swing, but... He is rung up on strikes on the splitter. Jim Fossum making the start for us. He's coming back, making his first start since being hurt. He only missed one start. And we lost to Marshall in that one. Bradshaw, MacArthur, Ching, Sloan, Golick, Hanson, Milton, Crisp. 
the batting order for the Cardinals. And here is a line drive on the first pitch of the game, a base hit into center field. You see our defensive alignment, Swayden Rogers and Tomko in the outfield, Maloney, Banwart, Riesland, and Bigby around the infield, and the battery of Fossum and Shinjo behind the plate. A runner on first for the Cardinal. 0-2 count. This is Ching, the second batter, and he goes down looking. No, oh, sorry, it wasn't Ching. This is Ching, the second baseman, the third batter. Runner on first, Ching at the plate, 1-0 count, and he drives it deep into left field, but Swayden's underneath it. Swayden makes the catch for out number two. Here's Donnie Sloan, the third baseman. The runner on first and two outs. He takes the pitch for ball one, then lost one into shallow left field, but Banwart's on it, and that retires the side. Here is the cleanup guy, Gino Washburn, to face Huffman. He takes the first pitch for ball one. Second pitch, a high fastball taken for ball two. And the third pitch is driven down the left field line. That one's going to stay fair. Roll up against the wall. It's finally chased down by Stanford. And Washburn is going to be on with a double to start the second inning. Here's Jeff Banward. Banward takes strike one. Splitter misses low. And then the splitter over the plate. It's a 1-2 count. Fouled off there by Banwert, still 1-2. Here's the splitter driven down the right field line. It bounces off the first base bag. Washburn's going to round third and head to the plate. He's going to cross. And the Beavs are out to a 1-0 lead. And they will end the top of the second inning with that 1-0 lead. Sammy Bradshaw now at the plate in the bottom of two. Bradshaw swings over the circle change, 0-1 count. Bases are loaded here for Bradshaw with two outs. And... Fossum gets the big strikeout on the Uncle Charlie. One to nothing at the end of two. Beavers with the lead. Gino Washburn up now. We've skipped ahead to the fourth inning. Top of the fourth inning now. Still one to nothing. Washburn at the plate. He is down 0-2 after looking at a pair of strikes. Fouls off the, looked like a cutter. And then he swings and misses at the curveball for the first out of the inning. Jeff Banwert now in the top of the fourth with one out. Banwert takes the curveball over the inside corner for strike one. And then he goes opposite field with a fastball. And he is retired on that one. Two outs now for Shinjo. Shinjo takes strike one. Huffman looking pretty good here for Stanford. Line drive up the middle. Base hit, though, for Shinjo. And the Beavers have a runner on for Devin Tomko. He's one, of one, one for one today. Tonko lines it into center field for a base hit. And the Beavers might have a little something cooking here in the fourth. Ari Riesland now, the second baseman. He's 0 for 1. There's two outs in the inning. See if we can get a little two-out rally going. Riesland, ground ball to short. It is fielded there on to second for the final out of the inning. We're through three and a half here in Palo Alto. It's one to nothing. Oregon State with the lead. Here's Golick. Golick swings over the splitter for strike one. Misses the curveball. We're at an 0-2 count here, and he takes a hack at the two-seam fastball. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. A three-pitch strikeout for Fossum. Two-seamer down and in off the plate. It's 1-0. Line drive grounder right back up the middle, and Fossum snags it over to first for the second out. Here's Jonathan Milton with two outs in the bottom of the fourth. Pitches in the dirt. He lays off it. It's 1-0. Here's the second delivery from Fossum, it's taken for strike one. One one count, and he, he uh, lost one out into right field. Tomko's underneath it, and Tomko makes the play at the end of four, it's one to nothing. The Gino Washburn comes to the plate now, leading off another inning here. We have skipped the fifth inning, and we're in the top of the sixth, still one to nothing. Washburn sends one high into left field. That one is back. It's at the track where it is taken care of for the first out. We got a pitcher's duel going on here. A nail biter of a game so far between the first place Stanford Cardinal and the tied for second place Oregon State Beavers. 1 0 count with two outs now. And a ground ball to the right side. Golick has it. He's on to Huffman. And that will retire the side through five and a half. OSU with one run on seven hits, a pair of errors. And they lead it one to nothing. Here's the ground ball to the left side. Maloney takes his time on to first. 
For out number one of the bottom of the sixth, Donnie Sloan, the third baseman, up now for the Cardinal. He drives one deep to right field. That one's going to split the gap. It's going to one-hop the wall. Tomko picks it up. He's got to get it back in. And he does before the runner can make his way to third. It's a double for Stanford. Here's Golick now with one out and a runner in scoring position that represents the tying run. Golick's going to bunt him. No, he, he shows bunt. And then he swings and misses at the circle change. we got a 2-2 count to Golick with the runner on second. Pitch from Fossum. Fossum is a splitter, swung over the top of for out number two. And Tim Hansen is going to be up to try to drive that run in from second base. Here is the delivery from Fossum, fouled off by Hansen. 1-1 one, one count, splitter, low, it's a 2-1 count to Hansen. Grand ball on the right side, Bigby has it, he'll step on the bag. At the end of six, it's one nothing Oregon State. Jeff Maloney comes to the plate, he's one for three today. We're in the top of the eighth inning now. Still one to nothing, Oregon State. Here's Renee Rogers. He's 0 for 3 on the day with a pair of strikeouts. Rogers does not go 0 for very often. He takes the splitter for a strike there. And on the 1 1 count, he drives it deep to right field. That one is going to one hop the wall in the gap. Rogers around first. He's heading to second, and he will slow up there with a double. And Stanford is going to go to the bullpen. First pitch up and away. Well, they put him on. So runners on first and second as they put Washburn on with the intentional walk. And a ground ball through the right side is going to load the bases. Here's David Shinjo with the bases loaded. He's batting 212, one for three today. Here's the curveball. Laid off low. It's one and oh. The two seamer is in there. Here's the one one delivery. It's a two seamer also in there. And then a. Curveball is booted at short. He'll have to go to third, but the run comes in to score. If he had played that cleanly, he might have had a play at the plate, but it's two to nothing, Oregon State. Here's the drive to right field. That ball is deep. That ball is back. It is gone. A three run home run off the bat of uh, Devin Tomko. He is three for four today with a home run, and this has driven in three. It is five to nothing, Oregon State. In the top of the eighth inning, Ari Riesland now with two outs. And he's going to loft this one into center for the easy catch. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning, OSU leading five to nothing. And we're actually going to skip ahead in this one to the bottom of the ninth. We bring in Magana to try to close it out and give... Castaneda, our closer, a little bit of a breather. 1-1 one, one count. Foul back. Stanford's down to their final three outs of the game. Here is a Fister out into left field, and Sweden plays it on the fly for out number one. Here is the slider. Swung on and missed. 0-1 oh, count with one out. Another big hack at the two-seamer. And then the grounder to Maloney at third. He takes his time. On to first to Bigby for the out. And he makes the play. The next batter, a drive deep into right field. Rogers is going back on it. And that's a home run for Stanford. Maybe a little too late for the Cardinal, but they avoid being shut out here in the opener of this series. A solo home run for Tim Hansen. And that makes the lead 5-1 to one for Oregon State. But Stanford is still down to their final out. Two-seamer over the plate, 0-1. Oh Strike two. And a grounder to third, the chopper, Maloney has it. Sidearm to first for the final out of the game. And Oregon State, with a huge win, moves into a tie for first place in the Pac-10 with a 5-1 victory here over the Stanford Cardinal. The Beavers, five runs on 12 hits. The Cardinal, one run on five hits. A pair of errors for OSU and one for Stanford. Other scores today in the Pac-10, Arizona beat USC 5-2, UCLA over Arizona State 4-2, and Washington State beat UW 3-0. So because USC lost, we are tied atop the Pac-10 with the Stanford Cardinal and just a little bit ahead of both USC and Arizona as we head to the final two games of this series with Stanford. And the second game, after we quick manage it, is a 4-2 loss 
So Stanford regains the lead in the Pac-10. Renee Rogers went one for four with a pair of strikeouts. Uh, Markle one for three, drove in or, or uh, scored a run, excuse me. And Silva came in off the bench to go one for four after Bigby was injured. And Bigby's injury, he's our first baseman. He is going to miss likely the rest of the regular season. Morgan went six and a third, giving up six hits. As you see there, Bigby's been hurt. He'll miss two to three weeks, which should equal the rest of the regular season. And what we're going to do here is move Washburn, who is our DH, to catcher. And we're going to put Shinjo, who was our catcher, at first base now. And we will go to the bench and bring Trey Markle in as the new designated hitter. So Washburn from the DH to the catcher. Shinjo from catcher to first base and Markle off the bench to be the new DH to take the place of Brandon Bigby. As you see, we are in second place in the Pac-10, the final game of this three-game series against the Stanford Cardinal. We quick manage it here, and we pull off the victory 5-3. to three. Harville gets the win. He is now 8-5. and five. Rogers went 3-4. for four. He delivered in this big game. Swayden went 1-4 for four with two driven in. Washburn also drove in two. So... The uh, key players that we rely, rely on a lot came through in this one to give us the 5-3 win over the Stanford Cardinal. Markle came in as the DH and went 2-4 for four as well. Swayden had a double. Tonko with a home run. Washburn 2 RBIs. Swayden 2 RBIs. And Harville went 8 innings. That was a big deal, turning it over to Castaneda in the ninth to get his 6th save of the year. So Harville with the win. Other scores, Arizona beat USC 10-8. Obviously, we beat Stanford there 5-3. ASU over UCLA 9-4. And UW beat Washington State 7-2. As we simulate on to our next series against Washington State. And then on the road in Des Moines against Iowa before we head back to the West Coast to take on UCLA to finish the season. But we will go into that episode, which will be the next one at Washington State. Tied with Stanford for first place in the Pac-10. Arizona and Arizona State are 12-9. and They're a half a game back. USC's 10-8. and They're two games back. As you see the upcoming games this next weekend, Stanford will be at Cal. Washington State in Corvallis to face us. USC is at Washington. next weekend and that will be it for this episode of oregon state beavers baseball join us next episode as we take on the washington state cougars from corvallis